All right, welcome to lesson 6.2.3. In this one, we are simply going to be doing more solving of equations. However, you might notice on that equation below, we're solving difficult equations on this one. And we're getting away from the equation maths. We're now just doing this algebraically. So, I'm going to get started on this. But I'm going to do the whole problem right here in front of you. So, I'm going to be doing some fancy footwork along the way. You might notice some different things happening here. Oh, let's go with that fun little color right there. Let's go over there. We'll go back here. And, oh, what a nice fun color that is. All right. So we've got that. Hold on here. Bring this back here in a moment. We're going to go with bold. We're going to go with a 24 point font so you can all see this. And let's go with a fun color dark blue. That sounds really cool. We'll bring that back into full screen for you there. All right. Step number one. What first thing we want to do is we want to take care of the parentheses here. We need to distribute. So step one is to distribute. When we distribute, you might notice that 5 times x is 5x. You might notice that 5 times 4 is going to be a positive 20. Now the rest of this, the negative 2x, I haven't touched this yet, so negative 2x. And the negative 15, I haven't touched that yet, so that stays as well. And that equals x plus 3. All right. First of all, let's recenter that just a little bit. That's not right in the middle there for us. All right. Make sure you have that down. That's our first step. Now our second step. You may have noticed I've done the, these things in the past, so let me try and do it again here. I draw a little box around my x's. So I've got a box around the 5x and the 2x. I'm combining my like terms. And you may have remembered that I draw little circles. I hope I can do this correctly. Whoa, that's too big. Let's draw that circle. Let's move that right here. And let's clone that baby. And that one can go right there. So on the left side of the equation, and only the left side, I'm combining my like terms. So when I do that, let's click on this. When I combine my like terms, my 5x and my 2x make positive 3x. My positive 20 and my negative 15, the difference on those two is a positive 5. You might notice on the left side, I've done nothing on that side yet. So I'm sitting here with 3x plus 5, and we'll kind of center this over here a little bit. 3x plus 5 equals x plus 3. Hopefully that makes sense. So first step, what to get this was I distributed. Second step was I combined my like terms on this side to get down to this point. Now, our third step is to move the smaller variable, this x right here, to the larger variable side. Well, how do we do that? We do that using something called inverse operations. So, inverse operations means to do the opposite. So I'm going to switch colors here to a fancy red for a moment. The inverse operation, the opposite of a positive x on this side is a negative x. But whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other side. Oh, shoot, I want that to show up as red, too. Bear with me for a moment. There we go. You become red. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to subtract the x's from both sides. So when I do that, I'm left with 2x left over on this side. Oh, I don't want you to be red now again. All right, back up here, back to blue. There you go. Oh, don't want that to happen. Let's undo that typing right there. Much better. I have not touched this 5 right here. And the x's on this side right here will cancel each other, so the only thing left is my positive 3. <coughs> Hopefully that makes good sense to you now. So the next step. Now that I have my x's on one side of the equation, I need to move my numbers to the other side of the equation. And we do this using um, kind of the opposite of order of operations. 
instead of working from P, E, the M, D, and the A, S, we work from the A, S to the M, D to the E to the P. So the A, S is anything being added or subtracted to the X. Well, right now, 5 is being added to X. So what's the inverse or the opposite of add 5? You are all so smart. Good job. It would be subtract 5. Minus 5. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do, that is correct, to the other side of the equation. Now, I know you guys all appreciate that when I put those in different colors, so I will put that in red. There we go. Hope that makes everybody happy. Now, the result of this is I have a 2x left over on this side because the 5's canceled, and on the other side of the equation, I've got a negative 2. So, 2x equals 2. Right now, we move up the PEMDAS scale, so we took care of adding and subtracting. Now we move up to multiplying and dividing. X is being multiplied by 2 right here. Well, what's the opposite, or the inverse, of multiply by 2? Good. Divide by 2. And I don't have a very good division symbol, so it's just that little slanted line. Divide by 2 on this side. Whatever I do on one side, I must do to the other side. Right like that. And I know you guys all like this one. I use the color red. Okay, maybe it's just me that likes the color red. Whatever. And finally, <clears throat> this gives us our wonderful answer. X equals, because the 2 is over here canceled, and negative 2 divided by a positive 2. A negative divided by a positive is a negative, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So our answer is X equals 1. <clears throat> Did we do it right? Did we? Did we? Think about it. I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can clearly see that answer, by the way. So, if we did this right, x should equal a negative 1. Now, i got to tell you, the reason we are going to do this next step, okay, here's x equals negative 1. The reason for this next step is watch how I put this video together the first time. I'm a teacher. I know what the heck I'm doing, but here's what happened. When I put this together and I got to this step right here, I said that positive 20 and negative 15 equals negative 5. I know you're what you're thinking. Mr. Anderson, you're an idiot for doing that. But hey, we all make mistakes. And when I followed this process all the way through, and I already made a video of this and then I had to delete it because I noticed I made a mistake. How did I know that? Because I checked my work. I got down to here and I got the answer of x equals 4. And I was going to tell all of you that x equals 4. But then when I went in and I checked it and I was plugging it in here during the video, my two sides did not balance. And when they didn't balance, I went, oh, crap, I made a mistake. So guess what you need to do now? We need to plug in and check our work. That's why I've taught you to do that. So now if we plug in negative 1 up here, negative 1 and positive 4 makes positive 3. Positive 3 times 5 would be 15. Now you might notice the 15 over here and this negative 15 over here will cancel each other. So the only thing left over here is a negative 2 times x. And x equals negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 2 equals positive 2. So the left side of the equation equals positive 2. On the right side of the equation, if I plug in negative 1 for x, negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2 as well. The two sides then balance. That's why you show all your work and make sure you show the check and make sure they balance. That way, that way you don't do what Mr. Anderson did and make some screwed up mistake and try and teach your kids that way. So fortunately, I do my checks every time, so I cop this. So now this time I was able to teach you the right way. Uh, we will see you in class tomorrow. Have a great day.